Hi, I'm Martin with Hydrolock Systems. In this segment, we're going to discuss the pump that comes with the six plant kit. This little pump is a powerhouse. It is a self priming diaphragm pump, and it's great for six to 18 Hydrolocks. It can run dry, which is a good thing for small growers. If you forget to turn it off, it's not going to damage the pump. Uh, it is not a submersible pump, believe it or not. We've had people put them underwater. You will catch your house on fire, and the two year warranty does not cover that. It comes with a small mesh filter, and it can be mounted two different ways. It can be mounted on the wall above the reservoir with a hose dipping down into it, or at the bottom of the reservoir. So let's go check out how to install it now. The first way to install the small pump is wall mounted. So if we imagine there's a wall here, we would mount it using the four mounts provided to the wall. Next, we would install our filter, make sure we have properly taped connections, and then use a, the hose adapter that comes with the kit. The female end of a garden hose is then attached and dropped down into the reservoir. It's important to cut the length of your hose just to where it almost touches the bottom of the reservoir but does not touch the bottom, preventing the pump from being able to suction. You don't want it coiled up and make the pump overwork. It is a self-priming pump, but creating the path of least resistance is the best idea. After that, we'll build the rest of the system out towards the garden. Now let's look at the second way to install the pump. And this is really the most preferred way to do it because you'll never lose prime. The water gravity is gonna make the, the water go into the pump and it'll always work every time. So we have our reservoir here. This res particular reservoir comes with a three quarter inch bulkhead already installed. And this is a good idea. If you're not familiar with bulkheads or uniseals, check them out on YouTube, install it at the bottom of your reservoir and you'll never have any priming issues. We've also added a ball valve to this setup so we could turn the reservoir on and off. That's always a good idea. Now we have our threaded connections properly taped. We're gonna use our two three quarter inch female adapters provided to screw on to the, each side of the inlet and outlet of the pump. Hand tight is sufficient on this. You don't wanna crack the pump head or the PVC parts. And now it's as simple as that. We're gonna connect it to our reservoir with a properly glued and cemented connection, and we're ready to build the rest of the kit. Our large one horsepower pump can only be mounted one way, which is floor mounted, securely mounted to the floor and drawing from the bottom of a reservoir. So we're gonna take our three quarter inch male adapters that have been properly taped and insert them into the inlet and outlet of the pump. Now this is where you can use a pair of channel locks or a wrench to ensure you get a nice, tight, leak-free connection. This pump cannot run dry. It needs to be primed for the first time that you ever use it. There is a hole here that you will take off with a wrench and fill up with water, and then it'll be ready to go. The gravity from the reservoir will do the rest of the job. We have added a check valve on this system. If for any reason you're ever experiencing the siphoning effect, whether it's water going this way or that way, add a check valve and that'll prevent that from happening. Just make sure that you install it the proper way. Every check valve comes with a flow arrow pointing in the direction that it needs to be installed.